Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of February 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, the Two of Swords in the reverse position, followed then by the Seven of Wands reversed. And next we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright. And then we have the Four of coins in the reversed and lastly we have uh, the knight of cups upright okay I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys first of all you have the two of swords in the reverse position as your overall energy now the two of swords can sometimes point back to the ace of swords which is new beginnings and clarity clarity of thought uh, clarity of communication, that kind of thing. Now, um, the Two of Swords being your overall energy is, it looks like you may have made a decision about something because Two of Swords upright is when we're deliberating, trying to make a decision. When it's in reverse, we've, uh, we've made a decision and it's based on maybe some truths that came out or maybe some clear thinking and that's where we have come to our conclusion. So good for you guys. You made a decision in some area of your life. Now, coming into the week, you have the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. Seven of Wands upright. This is somebody who is in a little bit of a defensive mode, protection mode, protecting themselves, protecting um, perhaps another person. When the card is in the reverse position, however, um, we're no longer protecting. We don't feel that need to protect ourselves. So it could be for some of you maybe... Um, you were feeling defensive about something maybe somebody put you on the defense then you're no longer you see the clarity of the situation you're no longer uh you know feeling defensive anymore maybe you spoke your truth and things came out and you're you're okay um uh for others of you it could be protection maybe you're just you were feeling protective of yourself or someone else and you're no longer uh, feeling in that protective mode. Maybe you uh, made a decision to stop protecting someone that you realized um, uh, shouldn't or didn't deserve or wh what have you, your protection. And um, so it's, it's very good. So far, so good, uh, Leo. You could be, some of you could be dealing with a specific situation or uh, a person and this is something that's unfolding um, in the beginning of the week now the seven of wands is paired up with major arcana justice in the upright position so this card represents justice being fair and balanced and justice being done so this could be connected to this whole scenario whatever it is for you guys however it's playing out um, this is about uh, uh, if it's a legal situation for example it could be that um the justice goes in your favor if you're waiting at a, a league on a legal junction or something like that it could be that it's ruled in your favor uh for others of you it could just be a, a situation that balances itself out there's fairness now where there wasn't before now things are balancing out Moving towards the weekend of the 16th, you have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. Uh, the Four of Coins, Four of Pentacles upright. This is somebody who's holding on too tightly to things. I call it the little hoarder card. Um, and you can, we all hold on to things, you know, all kinds of things sometimes. We can hold on to grudges. We can hold on to material things, um, all kinds of stuff that no longer serve us. But we're, we're holding on so tightly because we don't want to let go. However, it's in the reverse, which indicates um, a releasing of holding on to, maybe you're holding on to grudges or holding on to holding your horses, <laughs> awaiting a legal decision, that kind of thing. And now uh, that things are fair and balanced and everything's equaled out and you've made your decision, now you're releasing um, these, it could be even fears, maybe some of you are releasing your fears, but you're releasing something, others of you, it could be that you're having a garage sale and you're getting rid of some of your junk. <laughs> now moving to uh, right into the weekend, the last card that closes the read, you have the Knight of Cups in the upright position. 
it is a court card so it could be representing a person and this is water energy which is cancer scorpio pisces sun moon rising male or female and this person could be coming towards you to make you an offer definitely he's very rom or he or she is very romantic so uh it could be that you have someone on the horizon coming up this weekend that wants to ask you out on a date a very romantic date um or it could be for any of you uh, it could be a, an offer of something creative, say in the arts. For any of you in the arts, maybe you get offered something from somebody who asks you to go in on a creative project with them. Or it could even be an offer of uh, something emotional that you love. It can be sometimes represent a job offer if it's a, a job that you would love to do and somebody gives you this opportunity or offers you this. So beautiful energy here. Uh, Leo, it looks like some of you are dealing with a specific situation. You'll have to let me know in the comments um, what this is about. But it looks like you, if you've been waiting on a decision for a court thing or something like that, looks like everything is going to go in your favor. Looks like you're making a decision. You're no longer uh, feeling like you need to protect yourself or anyone else. And you're releasing all this stuff. It's a really good reading. Really, really good reading, Leo. Happy for you. Okay, I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now, Leo.